performed a study uh, assessing the frequency of medication errors and also the uh, degree of glucose control and length of stay in hospital inpatients. The major findings from this study was that there was a high frequency of errors in medications in the order of 50% of inpatients had at least one error in relation to either their medication prescription, administration or follow-up management. Uh, we also found there were relatively high frequencies of hypoglycemia with one quarter of hospital inpatients sustaining hypoglycemia. In this small sample performed in September 2011, we also established that the length of stay for diabetes was greater, approximately seven and a half days versus five days for non-diabetes inpatients. What is uh, really interesting is that our data very much parallels the findings in the UK. Uh, in the UK, the uh, frequency of errors in medications was in the order of 50%. Ours was approximately uh, 50%. Uh, they also showed increased uh, hypoglycemia in those who had medication errors. We were also able to demonstrate that. The UK data set also demonstrated length of stay differences, almost identical to our differences. So we feel that the Royal Melbourne Hospital uh, study might be representative of what could be happening in other hospitals in Australia, given it seems to be very much uh, in agreement with the UK data. In relation to the potential causes for uh, medication errors, it's clearly a very complex because we looked at prescription of medications, administration of medications and follow-up management of medications. So clearly there's a lot of people in the hospital who are involved in that process. Uh, obviously nursing staff, uh, medical staff, different shifts in staff. Um, so I think part of it is just we're needing a more consistent approach in terms of education, a more consistent approach in terms of prescription of drugs, a more consistent approach in terms of administration of drugs and also following up on hypo and hyperglycemia management. There's uh, abundant cross-sectional data suggesting that poor glucose control in hospital is associated with incre increased adverse events such as infection and possibly even death. Uh, but causality has not been established because of course higher or lower blood glucose levels might be a marker of a more unstable course in hospital. I think it requires a very frank uh, view of how diabetes is being managed within your local hospital environment and then having a very proactive approach in terms of improving care across the board, across the board nursing, uh, medical level as well as other issues because this, this system involves a lot of other teams, surgery and pharmacy and intensive care uh, and definitely would need the support uh, at a much higher level such as the hospital executive to drive these sorts of big picture projects. But I think ultimately it does require an element of brutal honesty uh, on behalf of all the endocrinology teams. <laughs>